How's it going guys? I'm sitting in my 2001 Ford Mustang GT and I wanted to talk about why these Mustangs, specifically the 99 to 04 Mustangs, the New Edge Mustangs, are so cheap. Why they're so affordable. The first thing I wanted to mention is how many of these were made. It was a ridiculous number. Let me give you guys a screen recording of, of some stats here on the uh, New Edge Mustangs. Here's the list of Mustangs sold annually by model year, starting from 1964 all the way till the present. And we can see here from 1999 to 2004, every single year, Ford sold over 100,000 Mustangs. Um, and if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, we can see here the uh, fourth generation, which included the uh, New Edge Mustang sold one 0.5 million Mustangs. I think another reason why these cars are so ridiculously cheap right now is because of the fact that they're old, but they're not really considered classics. Like, for example, my 2001, it's 21 years old, but this isn't a sought after classic. It's just an older car. So it's kind of stuck in that space. Like, for example, a Fox body, like Fox bodies are now like, you know, 30 something years old. People are you know, considering them collectible or they're more sought after. But this car and like, for example, the three valve Mustangs, the 2005 to 2009, um, you know, they're older, but people are either looking backwards at, you know, the more classic collectible Mustangs or they want the newer, faster Mustangs with the Coyote engine. So um, these are kind of just stuck in that weird space in between. Um, really, they're not collectible but they're getting older um and i think that's a good spot to be in when you want to get a cheap mustang like if you want uh something that you know you can really beat on and you don't have to worry about you know paying a ridiculous amount of money or you know it being considered an investment or something like that um which that's a terrible idea don't get a car because you consider it an investment more than likely you're gonna lose money on it so um just buy a car you enjoy I think these cars, you know, they're in a weird spot where they're uh, completely depreciated, but they're not considered sought after or collectibles, kind of like the Fox bodies are now where they're going up in value. Um, so it's a really good place to be when you want to buy a uh, fun used Mustang and beat the crap out of it and drive it like, you know, you don't care um, and it's not an investment. So um, they are in a really good spot right now if you want to spend a little bit of money and get a lot of bang for your buck. So, for example, a lot of the car shows that I've been to recently, I've barely seen any new edge Mustangs. Like, a lot of them are, you know, the newer, I mean, I would probably even say, like, you know, 2013, 2014 and above, um, just newer Mustangs in general. There is not a lot of new edge Mustangs, you know, Fox bodies or that kind of, like, older style. Like, they're all mostly, even three valves. Like, I have not seen any three valves at any car show recently, actually. Um, but... They are all, you know, newer uh, 5.0 Coyote engine Mustangs. And um, these cars are, you know, there's not a lot of them. Like people might not be as interested in them. So that drives the price down. And then, you know, that um, combined with the fact that so many of them were made, that there is so many of them out there um, and, you know, supply and demand. If there's a lot of supply, uh, the prices is going to go down because there's a lot of options to choose from. Now, regarding the fact that these are not as fast as some of the newer Mustangs that are coming out, yeah, that's true, but I mean, with any older car, yeah, the newer ones are gonna be fast. Like, if you wanna get the newest, fastest car, um, you know, don't get one of these old Mustangs, but, you know, they're cheaper because they're not as fast, but are they more fun than a new Mustang? Uh, probably, I mean, you can probably um, beat this up a little bit more and, like, take it more to its limits. Then some of the new, newer Mustangs, at least out on the street, and have a little bit more fun with it. Because the newer Mustangs, they're just so fast that in order to take it to its limits, you probably have to get on a track. So I can take this car, I mean, closer to its limits on a, on the street than I can, you know, one of the newer, you know, uh, uh, 5.0 Coyote Mustangs. And then the other thing is about looks. I know looks can be subjective, um, but... This car didn't really fit the, uh, you know, old school, like, 60s Mustang uh, look with, like, the super long hood and, you know, like, kind of like how the three-valve Mustang is, like, kind of like a homage to the, the 60s Mustangs where... 
they look more like like that retro 60s look um this car doesn't have that 60s look to it um so i don't know if maybe that's part of the reason a lot of people um they're not you know very sought after or why the prices are so cheap but honestly in conclusion i think it has to do with the fact that number one there was so many of them that were produced that there is just a lot of them out there um and like i said supply and demand if there's a lot of supply then uh demand is going down or prices are going to go down and there is a lot of mustangs of new edge mustangs to choose from if you're looking to buy one in the used market so there you guys have it that is why i think the new edge mustangs are so ridiculously cheap and i think they are super fun for the price there is not a lot more that you can get that is funner than a new edge mustang because these cars are so ridiculously cheap they have a v8 they're super reliable they're super fun so i think this is an awesome purchase um just to have a super fun car but let me know what you guys think in the comments below are these gonna start getting into like fox body territory where you know the prices are gonna start climbing when they become more sought after um because everyone's crashing the ones that are left uh but i think they're uh there's gonna be a, a long time until these climb in price because there's just so many of them out there and like i said they're in that weird spot um, but I think maybe like in like 10 years or something like that, they're going to get into like Fox body territory and maybe start appreciating. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree or do you think these are going to stay cheap forever? But there you guys have it. Who knows? Maybe uh, electric cars, you know, the Mach-E and stuff like that. Maybe they're going to take over in the future and these are just going to tank in value. That would be awesome because I would get myself a 2003, 2004 uh cobra terminator and that would be absolutely amazing if i could get one for a pretty cheap price because those are freaking expensive right now um but thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video